Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good to see you again. Hope and pray that all is well with you in Jesus' name. Come to give you another encouraging word from the Lord. Hallelujah. I have a book that I use the, the Bible promises for life for men. Praise God. But I learned this for whosoever need it, get it. Because it comes from the word of God. Amen. And hoping that it inspires you to continue on with your faithful walk with Christ Jesus. Amen. Coming from the book of Numbers, uh, the 23rd chapter and the 19th verse. And I'm reading from the ESV uh, version, the English Standard Version. Praise God. But it says, God is not man. Come that's a first sign right there that you don't never have to worry about him hurting you or doing something to you or saying something about you or causing you to feel some kind of negative way or you know how me and how we as human race can do each other and this letting us know right here that the God that created everything is not man so his love is so genuine. His peace is genuine. His caring for you is genuine. It's the real deal. You can stake your whole life on it and it will work for you. He will help you. He will be with you. He will never leave you. He won't forsake you. He's committed to you. He's committed to making sure your life is complete in every area. Not by day by day. You, you, We've already been called from the beginning before we was even put in our mother's womb, like the word of God said. He already know our beginning and our ending. It's just how we view ourselves. But he's letting us know, I'm not on your level. There's a scripture where he said, my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, saith the Lord. And he explains how far they are from north to east, South to north, north, but north to south, east to west. Praise God. It's in the word. It's in the scripture. But he said, God is not man. He said that he should lie. Everything God has ever told us is not a lie. In my life that I've read in the book, in the Bible, the Holy Bible, King James what I was raised up on. That's what I go to. To look for all my life. Dreams. I found that Google can't interpret my dreams. But I go into the word of God and I find it in there. Because he tells us in the, Bible, in the word. There's nothing new under the sun. Everything about our lives we can find it in the word of God. How to do. When to do. Where to do. What to do. Why are we doing it? It's in the word of God. Because we just a repeat. Of generations of generations of generations. We just a repeat. The same way we sin today is the same way Adam and Eve saints we sin millennials ago. Glory to God. It's nothing new in the sense of us doing what they didn't do. No, same feelings, same emotions, same will, same way. Praise God. But he says, no, no, that's why this Bible is it's the oldest book in the world. It's the only book that I have, have outstood every book that is to be published. Because it works for everybody in every century, every generation, every population, every country, every, every whatever. It works if we take it in and use it. Praise be to God. He said, God is not man that he should lie. Or a son of man. He wasn't born. God himself wasn't born of nobody. He said, I am that I am, I was, I'm is, I was there, I'm here, I'm over there. You, we, nobody knows his, his, his beginning because he don't have a beginning. All he tells us is, uh, what does scripture go? He's alpha and omega, beginning and the ending, first and the last. Besides me, there is none other. Praise be to God. So ain't no sense in looking for nobody else. No other God like this God. And, and who would live for a God like this God who cares about you, who see about you, who take care of you? All your needs are met because he loves you just that much. He says, 
that he should change his mind. Man changes his mind all day long, every day, 24-7, 365 days. Man changes his mind. Not only his mind, his will, his emotions. Man changes all the time. But our God, God, Jehovah, God never. He said, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's the same. Glory be to God. Numbers 25, 19. He said, has he said and will he not do it? Yes. I found out in my life, whatever he said in his word, he's done it. And he's doing it. I committed myself over to him. I gave myself to him. And he's doing an awesome work in me. Even at the age I'm at now, he's still doing awesome work. He's still healing. Last year, through the laying on of hands at the house of prayer, they laid hands and there was a mask on my spine on the right side. Lay hands and God removed that mask right then and there through the power of prayer. He said it. He'll do it. Now, if he left anything, it's for my good because I'm covered under grace, like Paul said. I, I, I've been graced by God. So if I have a little pain or whatever going on with me, hey, it don't stop me from praising him and worshiping him. Because his will is being done in my life, not mine. His will. Glory be to God. He said, has he said and will he not do it? He said, or has he spoken and it and will he not fulfill it? That's what I'm trying to get over to us today. Whatever the Lord God has spoken in your life, through your leaders, spiritual leaders, maybe personally talking to you. Praise God, I don't know. But he let us know, I will fulfill it. You trust him. Everything don't come the next moment. Everything don't come the next second. Some things you got to wait on the Lord. And while you're in that waiting moment, you're praying to him and you're acknowledging him. You're calling out to him. You're giving him thanks for whatever you're asking him for. I've learned down through the years, three answers to prayer. Yes, no, or wait. A lot of times we think we are ready for it, but we're not. But you got to know that God is not a liar. God will fulfill his word. If whatever he tells us how we must be in his word. Read the word of God. Study the word of God. Take it in. Let it expose you. Because see, you know, he, we already exposed to him. He already knows us. See, he looks at the heart of us. And he knows our heart. He said, out of, out of the mouth, the heart speaketh. And a lot of evil stuff. That's why David said, give me a clean heart. And renew a right spirit within me. That's what I ask them. Sometimes it's my daily prayer. Give me a clean heart and renew a right spirit because I don't want to hold hate, malice, envy, strife against nobody. Why? Because God is love and the love is in me and it's got to be in us to see him. None but the pure in heart shall see God. That's my ultimate goal in life, to see God face to face. I want to see him. That's why I have to keep my heart pure. Keep my heart pure. People said, do whatever. Found me, about me, or whatever. But I talk to God. Keep my heart. I don't want to hold nothing against nobody on this earth. Glory to God. But he just want to let you know. Praise God. He's not a man. He's not like us. Trust him. You're talking to him. Keep talking to him. You looking for him to do something? Keep looking forward to it. You wanting him to change your life, change your ways? Keep looking forward because it's going to happen. It's going to happen, people of God. God is not a man that he would tell you a lie. That, that don't say much for man, but we all done found that man will lie. Whether he meant to or not, God said, I'm not a man. Whatever I told you through my word, spoke to you from my men and women in that pulpit to speak to you. Whatever I told them to tell you, look for it to come to pass. Because he the only one knows your past, your present, and your future. Love you all. 
I hope this encouraged someone to keep moving, keep holding on to God's unchanging hand. Love you.